Hello everybody, Phoenix Philly here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. We got a ton of trucks for, to do for you today, so without further ado, let's get this started. Oh wow, look at that. You can see right through there. So this one, guys, be forewarned, this one might not actually be in a link. I have to remember where I found it. It was a, a um, different type of a modding site pretty sure I can find it again but if I don't um, I'm gonna see ask if you guys are watching this and you know where it is please 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 send me a link to see if it, it's all works and everything all right or to release it there or not release it to share the link with everybody who wants it feeling 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 do a little walker the tanks are blue where okay uh, I want to see if that hitch works. That's a big thing for me. Soundside. Deuster's Trucking. Hammond, Indiana. Hmm. Ooh, really nice interior. Ooh. It dumps. But this thing does not like bumps. Look, look at it. The I don't like. I'm not getting what's going on right now. Look at that back in. I'm gonna see if Tuff can take a look at it because I really like this truck. Oh, um, where is? I'm gonna give this thing a five out of five. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, my only problem with it is, for some reason, when you well, a it's blue and green, but uh, the the rear end just like kind of like jacks up. Does the triaxle go down? Yes, it does. All right. I don't. I don't know. And there's a couple of texturing glitches. Like you can see stuff flashing up here, but it's it's nothing huge. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five. I do like that truck. I do 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 do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Now, this one, I'm not sure if it's my, if it's the uh, drive control messing with it or not, but for some reason this thing only gets up to 38. It says it does 62, but it won't get up past 38. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not 100% certain what's going on there. Bumpy, 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 bump. Try axle down. It works. Refill. Yes, please. Interior. Uh, it looks like it's missing like your buttons and stuff. That's about it. Like um, on the you know your your. It's missing the textures on the inside, so it's missing. Some people don't understand what I say by that. The even though it, the outline for it may be there, there's no actual texture in it. The Dodge was the real, the the most recent one that I can think of. Yes, there was a Ram logo on the actual steering wheel, but it wasn't textured. It was just the outline. Whereas here, you see like the any texture or detail on the CB is gone, stereo is gone, shifter, it's all gone. Uh, they just didn't put that over it. Maybe they don't have it. I don't know, but that's 
that's what I mean by not textured. Just dump this in here. To the dump. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Alright. So, we gave this green truck a 5 out of 5 as well. Uh, it looks good. The only thing I see wrong with it um, is, like I said, I don't know if it's with my... I've never played with it without my drive control. Really, ass man. Um, so, I, I wouldn't know. But, it seems... Like it, it just won't get past 35, so or 38. So if you guys don't have that problem, it's definitely with drive control. If you do have that problem and drive control, uh, it's definitely drive control. Anyway, next up, we have this. We've done this before, haven't we? No one. Yeah. Okay. We've done that one before. We're not going to waste any more time on it. This is. Oh. Okay, so all they did was take the feed bed off of the What the hell was that? Sound like a damn spaceship. So all they did was take Yeah, okay. Alright. They took the feed bed off of the Kenworth that we used, put it on here, and um Put it on the Peterbilt, which is a nice truck. I'm not even going to test to see if it works because I know that bed works. So we're going to go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5. It does look good. Interior, everything. See, look at that. See how it's got a faceplate on it? The other one is missing it, okay? Just saying. Just saying. If that is not the most overscaled thing I've ever seen. Holy bejeebers. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey Randy, look at this one. There you go, smoke cam. God. Really nice interior. Need some friction scale. That much. Check that out. What the heck? Okay. Screwed up on the brake lights a little bit. Just a little bit. Tail lights look. Your headlights look good. What about blinkers? Oh, check that out. Okay, so, God, look, even stand up. Okay, for one, it needs a definite scale down. A huge scale down. Um, other than that, I really do like it. It's a really nice looking truck. I uh, could use some friction scale. 
And what else was there? Oh, the taillights are jacked up. Um, but other than that... Oh, what the... They got rainbow pen going on. What the hell is that? What the... It's really like... <laughs> what the hell is going on with that? Oh, Lord. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and give it. I'm gonna give it a four out of five just because of how huge it is. But it is a beautiful truck. It looks good. It works. Just God, it's so huge, so huge. It's just, it's bigger than that semi it was sitting next to. That's that. And before you even say it, it's it's because it's jacked up. It's not really jacked up at all. I mean, it's pretty much riding. It. it I mean, it's jacked up a little bit. But it's mainly, oh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Good God. Here you go. Here's prime example. Let's, let's try this. That's another thing that kind of bugs me about it is how it's, it, it's like it steers from the middle, if that makes sense. It's weird. The gooseneck is bumper. How much? Okay, that doesn't do anything. See how high it sits off the. Oh god! It's not. It's not even. It's lifted. It's just overall size. I mean, look how big it is compared next to this truck. And look how small the. Farmer looks driving it too. Anyway, like I said, beautiful truck. It just needs a big scale down. Let's hop in this thing. What? What the deuce? Okay, just don't add it into your camera to it. This looks like something Randy would drive. All right, I'm I I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna give us <laughs> give it a two out of five. God, it needs a lot of work. I like I like the idea. I do like the idea. If it had somewhat of interior, it would be different. But it's not, and it really lacks lacks detail completely. I mean, I like the concept. Just it needs a lot more work done to it. Oh, okay. Oh. There we go. Now, see, here we go. This truck. Oh, she sounds good, too. Interior. This thing's jacked up just as high. Okay, well, maybe at my... Hold on. Maybe the gigantic tires on it is just completely throwing me for a loop right now. Where is that Dodge at? Dodge. Do I not have it anymore? There it is. I just I knew I wouldn't get rid of it.
Oh yeah, see? That adds a little bit more perspective to it. They're both 3500s. Look a lot like the same year too. Are these the same trucks? No. Yeah. No? No, definitely not the same truck. Definitely not the same truck. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Ooh, she's a little loosey goosey. Way loosey goosey. Holy loosey goosey. All right, I can't even drive it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's it's really loose. Um, it it's practically undrivable. The interior is pretty much non-existent. Um, I do like the look of the body. The body does look nice. Could use a little bit more detail in the grill instead of just yellow. Uh, but overall, we're gonna go ahead and give it a three out of five. I do like those rims too. Anyway, tab over. Ooh, not bad. Seen better, but you know, I've seen a lot worse. Doesn't have a gooseneck ball, but we're gonna try it out just in case, anyways. Okay, it does have a gooseneck attacher. Interesting. No blinkers. Whoa, wrong way. Whoa, 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 whoa. You had me one over until you decided to do that. I want you to know. I just want you to know. Find a reason for me. What's that floating over there? Alright, I gotta go investigate now. What the heck is floating over here? What in the heck is that? What is that? That's got to be something off a truck of some sort. That's... That's never been there. Is it moving? Well, anyway. We're going to go ahead and give this truck a 4 out of 5. It's a bit... The handle's a little bit loose. But other than that, it does look really good. You can tell it's... Not the greatest quality of model, but it does look really good. Uh, I think whoever did it took a, a little bit extra time with a a not so great model and made it made it look really good. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five. Let's tap over. Oh. Oh. Really nice 
first gen from uh, ATF modding. James sent it over for me to get a, a sneak peek. Uh, it's not released yet, so once he releases it, there will be a link at it. But currently, there is no no link. So please, please do not worry. It will be released. He said really soon. He really wanted to get out here. This is the thing that did it for me. When he sent it over to me and let me check it out first. Look. Look, it looks worn. It doesn't look brand spanking new. See, look, look at this. It looks worn. These old, other old pickups, how, how they're bright and shiny, like they just came off the the showroom floor. Look at this. Look at this. This is a true blue, hard working truck. Now he's got a couple more things to fix on it. Like I said, you got the the windshield there it has triangles in it. Um, the, let's see if I can get it. The f back rear floor doesn't, there is no floor, so don't put your feet down. And it does have a second gen interior because he couldn't find a first gen interior, uh, from what he was telling me. Even the, the diamond plate on the back's rusted up. It's pretty cool. And beacon for it. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna actually give it a five out of five for the simple reason that right there. That I don't know. I love stuff I you know, yeah, it's got it needs improvement. Uh, the interior is not correct. It does have a hole in the floor. There we go. It has a hole in the floor. Um but little things like that, the weathered look to it, it just it does does it for me. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It is a, a sweet looking truck. You know what? Just because of that, I'm gonna bump that red truck up to five out of five. Uh, it's just I don't. Hmm. I, I don't. I don't know right now. Um. Let's hop in. These these are all the same, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. You have the. Oh, What's it? Long bed. I think this is the long bed. Long bed with step side. Short bed. Short bed, step side. And y'all beat up. Oh, it's all beat the hell. You know what? This would be good for FS901. Alright. Let's hop in the... F Actually, let's hop in the steps. I like the. I like that wood. I'll check that out. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. And it's a Ford. Okay. Oh, look at this interior. Oh, oh, I'm in heaven. Forward. Oh, that's way off. That is way off. I'm betting. Hold on. I bet. I'm betting it. It's the same spot as the short bed here. Let's try this out. And he he swapped the beds out and didn't and didn't move the attacher back. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what happened. Alright, so. These, we're going to give them 5 out of 5. There's a whole pack. Luckily, they're not all 
one pack. They are separate. So I'm just going to link the Ford uh, forum or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the main where you can download all these. And if you guys don't want all of them, you can pick which one instead of linking each one individually. So uh, I'm going to give them all five. Like I said, they're all the same thing, just uh, different beds on them. Uh, really nice so 5 out of 5 and that's going to do it for today guys if you liked the video be sure to leave a like down below if you guys want to see more of uh, Farming Simulator and <laughs> what the world here Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlights be sure to click subscribe and as always thanks for watching bye bye